This is the Monde Arms, presumably named after a local family, and it's on the it's in Kirk Langley and it's on the Ashbourne to Derby Road. The sign outside Railswood, which is about halfway between Ashbourne and Derby. This is Ashbourne, and that's the River Henmore, uh, known as Hellebers Bridge, because there was a chap called the Hellebers and Bridge Bike Shop there. This is looking down Compton, not or looking up rather, to And there's Station Street and May Taylor is the local baker. Um, I lived at these cottages which weren't like that then. You can imagine the slum. This uh, house that I lived in was the Lane Inn, which doesn't look like the Lane as I remember it much narrower and rougher. Uh, railway station's been knocked down and uh, a swimming pool has been built instead, and there's the police station, and there's St Oswald's Church Spire, um, it's christened, and uh, this is Church Street, you can see Elizabethan architecture at one end, and beautiful uh, Georgian houses around here. A.L. Hume, the local fishmongers, and blimey, they're still going. Selling quail's eggs. I've seen the quail's eggs of course. That's the shambles or the um, witchery leading up to the marketplace. And this is where one Prince Charlie did a turn around and turned around and went back to Scotland again. There's the marketplace looking a bit damp and dreary. Uh, I think the flags are out for the cornfields, but I'm not sure. This is um, the uh, Ashbourne Estate, there's a nursing home known as The Home, that's where I was born. Um, these are the council houses. I didn't realise it was such a big estate then, I thought it was about the same size. And this is the grammar school, I went there when I was 11, and there's scholarship in these days. And uh, I'm from the age of 11 to 18. Last year, travelling backwards and forwards on the school bus. Before that, we were in Ashbourne and walking on the marketplace. And it's had lots of extensions. The field on the right hand side, you can't see it properly, is the field where we used to go sledging in the winter. People all had sledges, took them on the school bus, and then they sat on them in the boat all the time. These are the houses that uh, have been at the back of the school, quite well built, very well built in fact. Um, from this road, little channels, jingles and uh, entries ran down onto the main road. This is Wigman Lane, there was a farm there, my mother worked there when I was younger, I think she married my dad. And that's the road to um, the Peak District. Then you can go around again. Oh, I've got a famous red coat. As you can see, there's problems with traffic. This is where some more. It used to be the workhouse was here, now it's been knocked down and there's some lovely Georgian houses built. That's the churchyard, the Ashburn churchyard. Pull up, that's why they had to open the cemetery. That's the school I went to, primary school, St Oswald's. And lots of almshouses and various stages along the Old High Street. And there's a picture coming up soon of Dr. Hollick's house. Um, yes. This is the last of the uh, Elizabethan type buildings with the family doctor. Um, they were trying to break into the cemetery, the, the gate was stiff. I tried to look for my uh, grandparents, but uh, God knows they were sunk away. This was my step grandmother's house. It's now, I understand, 
This is the village outside Ashburn, where we're at Elliston. It's not the village we're coming to. This is back again at Ashburn. And this is the back garden to Station Street. And there are loads of those. That's called North Lees Lane. Lees Alley Lanes. And um, the garden is much bigger, as I recall. Stretcher in tries to cross to the other side. And there's the steps going up into the hay fields at the back of Elliston. And then we used to see coal and bags on their back taking in um, coal bags up to those guys. This is Tissington, the village outside Ashburn, between Ashburn and Hartington. And then look at the spread there. I believe it's all owned by the Cavendish family. Beautiful house, there's lots of them now, all the cottages, still farmhouses, some are still farmhouses still. It's a typical people street, some shops, and this is Hartington, and there's the River Brook, no it's a pond. This place uh, it still refers to as Lower Pits, although it's in the same place that Lower Pits was, but it doesn't look like it. It looks as if it's been converted back down in the refurbished state. And it's where my friend and my family used to live. I used to go there and stay with them for a year. Very enjoyable. Now known as New Croft. And there's the lane at the side. I do remember that. Oh, I think that. This is a shot of Derby in Emerson Avenue where I lived for a year, about two years before I got married. And uh, it looks just like it did then, there's hardly any alterations other than modernised on one side. 